An accident in Bethel Park this morning claimed the life of one woman. And there was such force to this crash that the woman's car ended up wrapped around a tree. Good afternoon. I'm Stacy Smith. And I'm Christine Sorensen. Police had to shut down the road until they could remove the vehicle. Christine D'Antonio has more. It's unclear why 22-year-old Bobby Okonski was headed from South Park to Bethel Park early this morning. The Bethel Park woman was driving alone when her car veered off of Broughton Road and hit a tree. Investigators say she might have been going too fast. We're looking in to see if speed was a factor. It was right before 3 o'clock when Okonski's car veered off course. It crossed the, the line, went into a yard, and hit a tree. You can see the tire marks on the road where the car crossed into the oncoming lane and then into a tree. Neighbors on Sansu Drive, where the accident happened, say they heard a screech and then branches breaking. The impact from this crash was so severe that it split the car into two pieces. You can see that two tow trucks had to be brought in to get it out of the area. When first responders got here, Okonski had already passed away. The speed limit on the heavily traveled Broughton Road is 35 miles per hour. But neighbors say people rarely drive that speed, a reason why Bethel Park police have extra monitoring there. So we have uh, uh, a uh, speed monitor. Uh, posted on one of the utility poles, and that is one of our targeted enforcement areas. Unfortunately, we can't be there all, all the time. Broughton Road between Baptist Road and Willis Road was shut down for five hours as investigators collected notes and took pictures. In Bethel Park, Christine D'Antonio, KDKA TV News.